the NC State Wolfpack and NC State. Uh, really good last year, but had to deal with injuries. And obviously you hate that, but this is a uh, this is a fun team. This is a fun team, for sure. Uh, they lose Ikemi Kwanu, uh, Zonovan Knight, the running back, Emeka Imizi, the wide receiver, uh, defensive end Daniel Joseph, running back Ricky Person, uh, junior. Uh, they, they lose some big-time guys, and yet... 79% returning production. That's number 11 in the country on defense. It's number 8. They bring back 85% of their production on defense. It's fantastic. Uh, this team, <laughs> there were ways that they beat themselves a lot last year. Uh, penalties per game is a big one, number 120 in that regard. But this is a really, really strong roster, especially on defense. Number 4 roster strength uh, by the guys over at CFB Winning Edge. They went nine and three last year. Post game win expectancy said that they were closer to an eight win team, like eight and four, as opposed to nine wins. But you know, we'll uh, we'll get into it. Let's go ahead and talk about the offense. Uh, Tim Beck's offense is fun. It is. It's a good time. Number fifteen in explosive rate, but sometimes he makes you want to pull your hair out. The offense was explosive, but not exactly efficient in twenty twenty one. They were number twenty eight in points per game, but number eighty five in overall success rate. You need consistency if you're going to win the ACC. They they have not done that. They want to be able to get there. You need consistency. And you want the explosiveness, right? Explosiveness is a big part of today's game, but you got to be efficient with it. you got to, you got to keep doing it. Quarterback Devin Leary returns. A lot of people are very high on him as far as NFL grades, et cetera. I'm interested. I'm very curious what he's going to be like this year. They got four starting offensive linemen back, wide receiver Thayer Thomas. They do lose the left tackle. They lose the running back. They lose a wide receiver. I mean, all kinds of different things. You got to have new guys that step up in those key spots. But again, a lot of returning production. They got 73% coming back here. I want to know a lot of different things, really, uh, with this team. On defense, uh, Tony Gibson is back. And I think that... Tony Gibson, I mean, with 85% back, this is the most stacked linebacker room in all of FBS. Uh, the linebackers, Thomas, Wilson, and Moore, are all incredible. On top of that, Moore or Wilson, are they going to have issues after their injuries last year? Defense line has got Durden and Jackson back as well. Like, this unit is stacked, absolutely stacked. They were number 11 in PPA per drive last year, number 6 in rushing success rate allowed, number 5 in passing success rate allowed. The other side is number 106 in explosive play rate allowed. Now, part of that is because they didn't allow like a ton of plays. But, I mean, the secondary, like full of seniors, a uh, bunch of depth. Like this this is a top five defense in the country this year. Like Dave Doran has really, really got a good defense lined up. They're projected favorites in nine games. Uh, seven of them are toss-ups. That's games that are projected within uh, one score, like within eight points. So... I, you know, I'm I'm curious because it's a lot of toss-ups here. Let's look at the keys to the season. Efficiency on offense is the name of the game. Uh, you got to find a way to avoid third and long as often as they did last season. You got to cut down on the penalties. Number 120 in penalties per game. I mentioned that earlier. Defense is good enough to win a bunch of games if they don't beat themselves. And another key, the defense is special. Uh, Georgia did it with defense last year. NC State could certainly win the ACC for the first time since 1979 by just leaning on the defense and not beating themselves on offense. I I really like this team. I've got them at 9-3. and I've got a loss at Clemson. I've got a loss at Louisville, a loss at North Carolina. I could totally see this team winning 10 games. But at the same time, I've thought that about Dave Dorn teams in the past. And in the past, it has bitten me because sometimes they do beat themselves. I would love for it not to happen, but I've got them at nine and three. I think this team's really, really good. They went nine and three last year. They should be able to repeat that. That's the way that I would lean on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.